everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pharaoh, a new era. We're born in strife or something. Yeah, so last time was an unmitigated disaster, but an update has happened. It has nothing to do with the disaster, but it happened anyway, and it brought us a military rework, which we will be exploring today. It's not just going to be Sawu, because it's going to be Sawu too. But it's also going to be like military rework. Then again, if the video is too long, maybe I split it in two and I have the military rework uh, in one video and then actual Sawu gameplay in the other. Anyway, let's get it started because I, I do expect it's going to take a while. <laughs> because we're going over the military rework, I think it's going to take a while. So might as well get it started, get it on the way because uh, yeah. It might take... I don't know Sawu itself, how difficult or not it is. It's a peaceful mission, though. Those tend to take longer, on average. Because it's less, you know, difficult militarily. It's perfect to learn military, though. Normally, you should learn this military system that we're about to go through. You should learn this at Timna, but... I'm not going back to Timna. I read the patch notes. That's good enough. We can figure the rest out now by that Egypt is firmly united under your rule, we must develop trade relations with cities throughout the world to increase Egypt's wealth, O king of the two lands. As your people prosper, they demand more exotic items. Tired of jewelry and easily obtained luxury goods, your people want rare and expensive luxury goods. Such as incense, <sighs> your court, people. and I, your trusted vizier, recommend that you establish a Red Sea port at Sawu. Sure. Sawu offers a trade route to distant point, from which the finest incense in the world may be imported, though at great cost. Besides some modest veins of gold and copper ore, Sawu produces few raw materials of its own but can thrive as a manufacturer of finished goods. Sure, I've been doing that a long time ago. raw materials from trade partners and exporting finished products, Sawu shall be able to turn a tidy profit. While you are busy at Sawu, one of your most valiant nomarchs is establishing a new trade center in Nubia. Ah. His city, Aiken, is likely to come under attack, so my beloved pharaoh should be prepared to send him any resources does that include troops under your rule Sawu is sure to be one of the loveliest cities in the kingdom suitable as a final resting place for you and your family as you establish the thriving I don't know about resting place do not neglect but... preparations for the afterlife a mausoleum and small brick pyramid will provide sumptuous quarters for you and your family after your passage to the field. I don't think I've ever done a mausoleum, so that's interesting. Okay, before we get too deep in the actual mission. So one thing that a military rework provides is a way to deal with predators. So we're going to turn them on and see how well that works or not. Does this game even have predators? Hold on. I don't see any. This mission may not have predators, so... We may have a ways to go before we actually get to test that part out. Okay, anyway. Military rework. We now have a thing called defense overlay, which shows us that nothing is defended currently. <clears throat> Sounds about right. So, military buildings used to not do anything. A wall used to, like, not do anything at all. And now look, it's provided a little bit of protection. Directly adjacent to it, but not in diagonals, which is new. This game, that's not how this game works normally. So that's kind of weird. Anyway, if we put a tower, now we're talking in terms of protection. This tower is protecting... One, two, three... Yeah, it's a six range, except the corner for some reason. It's kind of weird, if you ask me, but whatever. It's kind of, it's just it's just weird. Why not put this square in? <laughs> I don't know. This provides protection. What does that mean? That means that um, when an invasion happens, 
the invaders. First off, there's a destruction happening in your city, regardless of the result of the battle, unless your army is strong enough comparatively to theirs, right? If it's a little tight, if you it's, it's, uh, it's if it's a little unsure who's gonna win, there's gonna be an initial round of destruction, and then if you lose, there's a, another big round of destruction, right? Um, anything that's protected is not destroyed. Is my understanding of it anyway. Um, there's more that you can do with it. My understanding is that, see, this wall protects around it. Uh, hold on. I'm. Let's do a wall like this. Uh, apparently, the defensive structures cost way less, too. That's another change. So, if we do this, yeah, it protects everything inside the wall. Question Does it protect everything? Okay. You can use water. Water is a wall. Acts as a wall. I imagine the edge of the map does not, however. Right? God damn it. Let's use the other edge of the map. Oh, never mind. Uh, let's use the top edge of the map, maybe. So... We go this far. Okay. Went as far as I could, yeah. The, you can't use the edge of the map. In your wall. I don't know how floodplains work. Or marshes. That's another question mark for me. This is not the correct map to answer those question marks. Can you use dunes? Probably, right? No, dunes do not count. You have to patch those up. To actually. Interesting. Does a rock count? A rock does not count. This is very funny, because... The enemy has boats. It's better equipped to deal with water than, you know, rocks. But here we are. Rocks and dunes do not count, so probably floodplains and uh, marshes and stuff do not count as well. Water counts. Water counts. So, areas protected do not take damage from invaders. The other thing it does is areas protected, um, predators cannot kill stuff in. Predators that are just turned on. This is how you can't kill the predators, but you can protect your walkers by making them walk through protected areas. Now, I'm not sure how great that's gonna be. Because if I want to protect my traders, I have to build a wall all along the kingdom road. All along everywhere they're gonna walk to my city. But yeah, this changes things a little bit in how you design. Um, how does a um, gate work? How does a gate work? Gate is halfway between a tower and a wall. Wall is just, you know, range one. Gate is range three. Not the worst. Not great either, but you know, not the worst. Okay. Okay, now, for, as far as the mission itself goes, that's the military rework, that's all there is to it. It's the, yeah. And then the invasions, yeah, the damage is bigger that they inflict, but then you can protect against it, and you also protect against uh, predators with this. Towers, we looked last time, towers do have a big desirability problem, though. So what we're gonna want to do is... Oh my god. Walls as well, apparently. What we're gonna want to do is surround the living quarters with uh, walls, I guess. But I have gates. Hmm. Uh, we'll see. I'm not sure exactly how, necessarily, how I'm gonna deal with defense in every scenario. This is the first time we encounter this, after all. 
We will figure it out. So what do we do with this mission? Services seem standard. Chickpeas and fishes. There are fish. I remember seeing those when I turned on the uh, furniture. There's a fish somewhere in here, I think. Isn't there? Oh, I'm paused. Let's actually go forward. Yeah, there's a fish right here. Is it important where the fish are? Not necessarily, right? There's a fish up here. There aren't that many fishing. There's a fish here. No fishes in the lakes. Got it. Crossing this little river is surprisingly difficult. If not outright impossible. Is it outright impossible? Why would it be impossible? Am I really gonna have to ferry people across? Are you kidding? I can't put a bridge anywhere? That's so stupid. I hate it. I hate everything about it. Kingdom Road is here. To get access to this whole area on the right side. Okay. To get access to this whole area on the right side, we would need to ferry across this or ferry across up weapons. Interesting. Ferry up here and then down here again. That's not necessarily the worst idea. There's a lot of coastline up there that we can colonize for a bit of fishing and for some military ships. Right, there's a reason to be up there. I think maybe a housing district here gives worker access to a bunch of chickpea farms right here, a bunch more here, and we put a uh, ferry here. And then there's a housing district somewhere here, gives worker access to a bunch of fisher, fishermen at first on the left side. There's a fishing spot right here, so, you know, it's kind of a fine place to put it. Is this where... Okay, hold on. Wait, we're gonna need to trade. Is most of the trade, if not... Ooh, the icons are different. Water trade route? Everything's gonna be land, right? Land, land, not land. Planet is the only thing, and it's incense. Do we really need incense? I know it's the reason we exist. Menefer is water? Why? That's so random. It feels random. I don't know why Menefer of all places would be like that. Anyway, we can have... Oh. I don't know, we can have a trading thing here and then we can have... Okay. 2,000 pottery, what the fuck? Then we can have a, a fairy here that... And then we've... Oh! Hyenas! There are enemies, and by enemies I mean wildlife. Remains to be seen if we can catch them, because ideally we catch them inside walls or something and then it's done, right? Hold on, out of curiosity, statues don't cost as much. There we go. They can't... Oh, they can't go through dunes. But then... Out of curiosity, can they go in diagonals? Yes. This one's stuck, though. I 
Alternately, everything's protected and we don't have to deal with this. I'm going with the heads, because it's slightly cheaper than it was. 2,000 goddamn pottery, that's insane. Alright, so fish and chickpea, we can get the food from here and from fishing from here. Maybe more fishing over here, we'll see. And then we traverse here. Oh wow, we really need to get the weapons over. And then we traverse here. Why would we traverse here? There's no reason to be up here, is there? There's a little bit of reason, but like not a ton. Hmm. Also, we need to get down there, right? Because this is where the gold and the um, copper are going to be. And we need copper real early. We need to make three weapons relatively early. So, we need to colonize down here. Hmm. Okay, we can make clay, so the 2000 pottery is a lot more doable than it may appear at first. We can produce granite as well, which is helpful maybe, I don't know. What does this require? Sandstone. 240 sandstone that I have to import. This doesn't take granite either, so we don't need granite for any of the monuments? Question mark? Unless mausoleum needs granite after being built. Linen. Yeah, it's gonna ask for a bunch of stuff that we don't produce locally, huh? Oh boy. I'd rather, I'd rather avoid uh, trading from water, so let's avoid this. It doesn't sell any of the uh, element uh, elements, the clay, flax. So Ititawi sells flax that I can use to make linen. Uh, it buys beer. Manat Khufu doesn't sell anything interesting. Buys bricks, but whatever. You get the clay from Waset. Wood from Dakla. Hides if I ever want to get into shields. Um, gems from Dunkul. Sandstone, that's where we get the sandstone, huh? That's it? Where do I get... Oh, you get reeds from Menefer. I'm gonna have to open this. Ah. I have to open this, don't I? To get reeds. So, beer and jewelry, and I guess composite bows, if I ever do those. Those need to be near the dock. Those specifically. I don't think I'm ever going to get into bricks. I hate it. This is where you get the wood. I still don't see anything anywhere where I get barley from, so that's a little bit of a problem. Maybe it was Ikken, but it closed. I can't even get beer, to be honest. Maybe it was Icon, but it closed. Otherwise... I'm not sure. I wonder if it wouldn't be a better plan to cross here. To get this online a little faster. There we 
there'll be no inundation at all. Yes, you do need to dispatch troops. Good to know. I could colonize this island just for farms, but also, knowing me, I need to put a housing district with the name. That's not gonna happen. Oh, I think I found where I can make a bridge. BAM! That'll do it. I can now go here. Go me. Alright. The outside world is being particularly loud. Maybe I'm gonna close the window. Oof. I think we're definitely... Oh, 19 weapons. On top of my troops, really. I think we definitely make a housing district here for a bunch of farming and a way across to this side where we put down fishing. So that's our food production for both types of food that we can produce. It gets a lot of food produced. I need to get economy started. I don't think gold is particularly viable. Oh, there's a lot of gold here. Maybe gold's viable. Maybe goes viable. What would be the strategy then? There's a lot of gold down there. Well, okay. Easy economy says just colonize here, right? Never mind the farmlands, just colonize over there for the gold mine. I think that's reasonable. Alternately, do you think we can have a housing district like here? that provides access to workers for a bunch of farms around, but also road across and get a bunch of gold mines. Oh, interesting. Hey, you really? This is where you can get a road. Something like this, right? You do something like this, and then let's see how many gold mines we can fit in here. Oh, this would be the granite, because it's stone. And this is a road that goes up here. There can be farms. So let's see. Does this work even? Yeah, you know what? Like this. Let me now delete everything except the furthest away gold mine so I can figure out if they make it there or not. And then there would be a road here that would... I, I guess a bridge would be here and not here. Let me unpause real quick. Do you make it? This guy didn't, but maybe it's the short version and there's a long version that does make it. Also, everybody else would make it, so, you know, the one gold mine has trouble accessing workers, that's fine. Okay, that was, okay, it was a long version that didn't make it. I need this thing to be way closer, then. It only makes it here. I can't make it close enough for the short version. There's a fire somewhere, apparently. Oh, I'm, I mean, I put a duck down, so probably the duck. But, okay, hold on. This is why we test things before we go. 
allows us to improvise something that's actually worth improvising. Um, right, it would be here, basically. And then one, two, three, road. This can be the... Does that even make it? Hey, sure, maybe. Okay, try this one, Mr. Walker. Bunch of stuff happening in the world. See, he gets all the way here. So, when it's the short distance walker, he doesn't make it. When it's a long distance walker, he does make it. So this mine would sometimes have workers, the rest of them would pretty much always have workers if their walker goes, you know, the correct way. And then on the other side... Shut up. On the other side we do this. Hi, welcome to Mars. Welcome to my city, dear eight dudes. Oh, really? We're gonna say it works out, and we're just, we're just gonna try to do the mission. Okay, improvise along those lines. Okay, we paused. Oh, are the rocks the hyena spawn points? They are. Interesting. Let's deal with that to begin with, so I don't have to worry about them, like, ever again. Welcome to the head zoo! It's full of heads, and more importantly, hyenas. Fuck. There you go. Hyena's not gonna bother us. Any other evil animals anywhere? I don't see a stone. Alright. Evil animals. Dealt with. So. We had a road that was basically coming this way. And that was the road getting workers from down here. Okay. You don't have to answer that. The answer is yes. <laughs> I know, I already know. This is this is known. Let's make the gold mines. That was the iffy gold mine. Everything else is gonna be great. And then that was the one granite that I'm kind of wanting to skip. And then Gold. Gold. I'm not placing them the same way I did last time, but don't worry about it. Okay. There's a granite, like, here. Like this. I mean, that works too, but I like it when the road sticks to the mines. Thank you very much. There we go. We're gonna need a architect. I'll make two architects, because I can. And it won't hurt. So, one, two, three, road. Yeah, it started here. 50. Uh, that's 8. Right, I'm going to time lapse, actually. I don't know why I'm talking still. Going to time lapse. You've seen me plan this already.
Oh my god, this works. I had no idea. Interesting. <laughs> Alright. I'll take that. Okay, this doesn't work. Okay, I think they need to be stopped. You two are trapped. They're both stopped. Okay, we're gonna start with this. I've already used my bailout. We're halfway through the bailout. Um, I've set up money in the form of a lot of gold and a little bit of weapons production and two housing districts because I have so many mines, I figure I'm gonna need a ton of workers. You know? You know. So, yeah. 100 people moved in, and we need more workers. I need people to move in. The next thing I'm gonna need to set up is like pottery. Probably around here. No, actually, the next thing I need to set up is food. I've done exactly zero food. I need to do that, but I need the gold mines to start making money. I need to make money. You don't start with a ton of money on this one, so you know. These two have been sending their recruiters the wrong way, huh? Everybody's working though. Everything else. Yeah, okay, there we go. All of the gold mines are working. Uh oh, fuck. I have one temple to Patal. Let's have. Sort of more temples. More temples for like everybody. Which one was the main one? Bast, right. Ra and Pata are very angry. Bast is fine. Ra and Pata are very angry, so... Whoops. My bad, gods. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. My reputation suffered because of that. Alright, see? We're making tons of money. It's fine. Time to make tons of food. So, yeah, this worked. I don't know why, but this will allow me to, like, put a bunch of farms here and just have them all irrigated from behind, and it's great. I love it. I love everything about it. You know. We're gonna... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out where I want to trade, right? Is this working now? This looks like it's working now. 
It looks like it's probably working now. And I'm guessing it didn't work because they already had the move command there, so they were gonna go there regardless of what's there. But once they're mobilized, they're not moving anywhere, and then they can't calculate a place they can go, so they're stuck there. I think that's how that works. So in fact, I'm going to delete this. It's a waste of money to delete it, but whatever. Live and learn, right? Live and learn. I haven't really thought about um, making my districts safe in any way. So that's a little bit of a problem, but I'm sure we can figure something out. We can make like a wall around here maybe, and that protects this, I don't know. Or we make a wall like... Problems I have a road coming through here, right? Maybe have to redo that part a little bit. Yeah. Or maybe we just win the fights and we don't have to worry about destruction so much. I'm not sure. I'm kind of playing like there isn't a military reform right now. <sighs> okay, let's make farms. I forgot. Right. We're making farms. I guess we can start by making farms down here, but I want to calculate because the granaries are probably going to be here. They'd be more useful if they were more in the middle, though. I'll try to set them up somewhere in the middle. I'll improvise something. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry, I was thinking a lot about how to make farms. It's a very fascinating topic, isn't it? I'm just gonna add four farms here for now. And do this. We will see if we go further than that and how we do it. Hmm. Yeah. We'll figure something out. I do think the shipwright is here. And I'm wondering if I can use some of this coastline to make just fishermen. You know? Make the military somewhere else, but like make the fishermen here. Along the coast here. I'm not sure. I am honestly not sure. Huh. <sighs> Okay, well, we're gonna let it go for now. Yeah, we're gonna have some worker problems a little bit. Until we get some food going. 
That's why we need the food, obviously. Employees needed. I am well aware of that game. I'll be cutting until I feel like something needs to be rectified. Or until I can get something else going. The next thing is probably pottery, because 2000's a lot. I think we do have the weapons to not get Iken destroyed. It's probably Iken that provides barley, and you need the three with the for, to provide the three weapons so that... Oh, it's only one weapon? Yeah, anyway, I have the thing. I have just the thing for you. A uh, hundred weapons? Good lord. That, that was one, not one hundred, but sure. Kingdom rating has risen. That's all there is to it. Alright, back to cutting. We're making money. I forgot the bazaars. I'm dumb. Bazaar. Bazaar. Alright. Yeah, get the food. Thank you. Jeez. I'm silly sometimes. I'm very silly sometimes. Alright. We're gonna build some beautification already. Let me time lapse that real quick. There we go. Now the houses can progress further. Okay, good. This should solve our worker problem, and then we can get pottery probably going. Because 2000s a lot. I keep saying that, but it's true. I think I'm gonna put it like here. There's very little actual farming to be done here. There is some, but like, it's not gonna be very profitable. So we can use all of this for clay and just get that going. For now, though, I'm cutting until people move in. I'll be right back. Okay, well, we have a ton of money. And we know what kinds of issues we need to solve. Namely, food. We need to make more farms. A lot more farms. <sighs> also, by the way, we've... Um, I've um, investigated a little further the military changes. I've discovered some things, so we don't, yeah, we don't need all of this to be that, that farm. Remember how I said that a rock does not count as part of the wall, it can't complete a wall? That was false, it can. The problem was that I tested that with this rock, which is not a rock, it's a hyena spawn point. Now, hyena spawn points do not complete a wall. Actual rock does, however. So, uh, let me demonstrate. There's something I discovered we can do here, which is pretty cool. Um, we're gonna go through this. Bam. This hyena is gonna be outside. Too bad. I can wall all the bottom here. Bam! All the way to the rock. And now... It is... Still not defended. What's wrong? Well, there's a few things I actually learned. So... Um, dunes still do not count as part of the wall. And diagonals... Um, are a breach, right? So there's a diagonal of dune that comes all the way here. You gotta block that. It also comes back here and, and through here. So let's block that as well. And it's still not protected. And that one, that last thing I learned, was actually the, the most confusing to me. It took me a while to figure out. The fairy actually is a breach. So if I block this, suddenly everything on this little, um, whatchamacallit, this peninsula, I guess you could say, everything's protected. Of course, that's the very dumb way of doing it. Let's 
cancel that. It's a very dumb way of protecting the whole place. Because uh, it's going to block immigrants from going through. So what we're going to want instead is going to be like a gate. I need to have a road. Apparently. But, you know, a gate. This is a gate. A gate. And uh, for now I'll keep it simple. We can... Alright, get out of there. For now, I'll keep it simple. This should keep it all protected, right? Yeah. Eventually, we can destroy this wall, make a real housing district, and, you know, envelop that in a wall, and that'll work too. For now, I'm just gonna do the bare minimum right here. And, uh, yeah, okay, so that's for defense. Our whole place here is defended. Now, we can probably destroy these statues, because when you're in a defended uh, area, the um, animals cannot kill your walkers. So these are domesticated hyenas now, because they live uh, in a protected area. However, I'm going to keep the statues for now, because I'm just afraid they're going to mess up my building of stuff. You know? They're just gonna get in the way somehow. I'd rather avoid that, if at all possible. Um, I need more farms. Like, a lot more farms. And maybe even some fishing. I don't know. I, la I know that last time I was thinking of maybe... Getting fishing going there, but I don't think that's a good idea. Seems like a very terrible idea, in fact. So we're going to avoid that. I think I'm just going to colonize this island eventually, mostly for the coastline. Like, there's going to be a little bit of housing and then a bunch of boats all around. Maybe even fishermen, maybe even military. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But that's going to be the, the boat island. All right, let me improvise something farm related. I'll be right back. Alright, I'll leave it at that for now. Um, it should be fine. It's more food. I added some culture. Oh, that reminds me. I added culture, but only for one of the districts, did I? Oh no, I did for both. Okay. I didn't add dancers because workers are an issue right now, and I'm trying, you know, to use as few workers as possible for this. 
But yeah, this is going to expand the food production. Oh, fuck. I need more workers before I can get the pottery online. I simply need more workers. Yeah, food was insufficient. Well, that's what I get for... Um, getting the uh, farms up a little too late. I did a few too many gold mines and not enough food. Because, see, my economy is not a problem. I did not need this many gold mines at the very beginning. That was just... that was my mistake. But okay, people are gonna be moving in. We're going to work with the assumption that people are just about to move in. Because that's just straight up correct. <laughs> that is what is happening. I keep pressing E for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, well, I'm going to improvise. Uh, how do you work here? Yeah. I'm going to improvise. I think this is fine, actually. Green needs to be in here, not red. Yeah. I'm going to improvise a um, bit of clay around here. I'll be right back. That's too many, but people are gonna move in. I'm still banking on people are gonna move in. I'm actually, pause, I'm actually gonna turn off them buying pottery in case I do manage to produce 2200 pottery reasonably soon. I'm not sure that's gonna be the case, but you know. So worker required seems reasonable right now because yeah, now it's not going to be reasonable anymore. I'm six months left already? Well, that's not going to happen. Uh-oh. Caves in. That's just a thing that can happen and there's no helping that. It's fine. Just remake it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to need a recruiter too. Well, the houses are evolving. These still haven't received any food. There's food. Come on. Fill up the houses with a bunch of food, please. Oh my goodness. I need people to move in. There's a lot of people that can move in, in over here. 150 workers missing. Alright. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna set up a housing district here. And the reason why I'm setting up a housing district here is, well, we're going to need it to power the... People say that this city has plenty of food to go around. I don't know about that. That's kind of the problem right now. I'm trying, though. Next harvest is coming soon. We're producing... How much does the tooltip say we're producing for? 6,000 people. <laughs> we're going to get there eventually. I'm going to add a housing district here. It's going to add a wave of people. It's also going to allow me to power some buildings over here. And the reason I want that is I think I would like to have the recruiter on this side to make the forts, you know, where I'm not going to be building most of the city. I guess I can put the forts up here or something. Because I am building part of the city right here. Anyway, let me improvise that. I'll be right back.
Okay, that probably does something. Maybe. It should be defended. Yeah. Okay, good. I have the the military setup started over there. Uh, we can put down some archer forts to begin with. Actually, we have weapon production already. So that's a thing. We can make one of each, I suppose. Oh no. Wait, I can do my usual thing. It just... I have to move the Kingdom Road. It's a silly thing for me to be doing, but... I like my forts in the usual formation. Like this. One, two, there we go. I may have to move it again, but we'll figure it out. The place is defended, I guess. And it's got a bunch of housing. Also, I guess. I don't know, we'll let this go. This, I'm hoping, is going to provide more workers than it's going to take. And maybe that works out. You know? Hopefully. Bunch of people moving in. Additional workers required, but then more people are going to move in, and then it's going to be fine. Yeah, okay, 12 months to do the second chance. How are the gods feeling? Okay, the two non-main uh, gods are not happy, so let's create temples to them. There you go. Please don't be mad at me. That should work out. Yeah, see? Fun clay bits. I just built this thing. Come on. That's ridiculous. Alright. I'll le let it go for a while. See if it stabilizes. Food's coming in. So there's another wave of food coming in. That'll be nice. Oh, I forgot to not buy pottery with you. Fuck. He bought 400 pottery. That sets us back. If I miss the target by 400, I'm gonna be so mad. Linen? I'm not producing linen yet. Shit. I do have some unemployment. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm... Yeah, it took me too long to get off the ground because I built too many mines. I was thinking of making some uh, linen on this side, actually, so we can do the imports and exports around here. I'll be right back. Alright, that's... Oh, wait. I also need the services. I'm dumb. Um, I'm gonna put them here for now. I don't know where they're gonna go. It's fine. It's, yeah, okay, we should be receiving even more workers, right? Yeah. We're gonna be fine eventually. Six months. We're making it, I think, maybe, especially with extra potters added. I think it's fine. Okay, we're not producing enough clay. I'm gonna add more clay production. Around here. Yeah, uh, linen's gonna take a while, because I haven't imported yet. I'm also gonna switch the bazaars off of linen. Where's the bazaar in this one? Oh, there it is. Hidden behind the temples. Got it. Don't buy. I don't think this... This one might not be in range of my linen production, but, like, don't buy it anyway. If you see it, if you find it, don't buy it. Okay. If I had to restart this mission, I would dedicate, I would create less gold mines and just more farms. 
Because that, that was the main problem I said he had, is just did not have enough. Um, dispatch troops within 18 months. Storage yard has the pottery. Wonderful. We got the... We made it in time for the second chance. This might not produce in time, but second chance again to reduce the problems, the, the, the penalty for not doing it. We might be getting it. I kind of want to produce more food. Well, I think maybe we're producing enough. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe not. This is not looking wonderful. I'm going to add entertainment here. It's going to add even more people. We do need a bunch of people, you know. This kind of doesn't really fit. Whatever. It's doing what it needs to do. Almost. Okay, yeah, I didn't make it in time, but I'm going to. New trade route to Buhen. Oh. Wonderful, I suppose. What does Buhen want? Buhen is down here. It's a water. It sells barley. And it buys these. It sells barley. I did plan on making barley next to the dock. Uh, beer, rather. So, um, that's fine. What was the other place that sells... Do I have a place that sells beer slash barley? No. Well, we found the place that handles beer and it's next to the dock. So the plan for the dock is for the dock to be up here. There's gonna be another housing district here providing worker. And then there's, you know, and this is Fish Island. You know. You know. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Do you? No? I am not sure. Man, this is... I feel behind. Everything. We're gonna get there, though. I started these a little too late as well, I think. I'm not sure my army is going to be able to save. I can... We're gonna try. We've got a few more months to before having to dispatch them, so... Have you not received... Okay, not received any food. Unemployment is rising. People are moving in. What do we do? What kind of industry are we setting up right now? I'm... I gotta think about it. I don't need money. Uh, food is... You know what? I want a, another one of those. Just accumulate even more food. We probably want to start importing a bunch of sandstone or something. For the mausoleum. We need to accumulate that over time. Um, Maybe more food production, because we're going to add even more. Oh, there is something too. We provided the pottery. You can buy the pottery now. Pottery. You can buy the pottery. You're allowed to buy the pottery. You already were. You're allowed to buy pottery. We've got an extra chickpea... Granary. I need to think about this. Beer, in theory, would be the next, but like, it's another housing district over here for the water trading. I also want to start. Yeah. I kind of want to start bricks as well, because remember, that, that's something I wasn't remembering until just now. I do need a small mud brick pyramid. Brick pyramid. Uh, I do need this thing. I can probably build the monuments down here. Right? Okay, well, mausoleum maybe not. Maybe mausoleum goes somewhere over here. Uh, 
And the mud brick pyramid is down here. I think maybe that makes sense. Some amount of sense, anyway. Uh, and then there's a housing district, more industry next to the dock. That's gonna be papyrus, beer. Is that it? Papyrus beer, I think that's it. And then fish island, which also is going to house all of the... Um, speaking of, let's put this here. Here, sorry. This is where I meant to put it. Wait, this thing is fire and collapse risk. I need to add the services, otherwise I'm just gonna forget. There you go. I un <laughs> I unpaused, but okay. Let me. I'm going to take a break actually to think about how to move forward. Maybe I already start building bricks. Maybe I need to already set up this housing district for beer production over here, and already you know get the fish started, the fishing started. I don't know. Still pondering things. Do I have a requirement for... No, no housing target. I just need a bunch of people. Uh, I'm... Yeah. Getting bigger houses might be nice, but also... Also, I haven't planned for it. I'm not sure how well that's going to happen. Anyway, I'll... I'll think about things in the, uh, the next steps in what order to do things, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Um, we have a lot of unemployment, we have a lot of money. Huh. Some amount of people. I kind of feel like I want to set up everything. And that's probably not a good idea. Right? Let's start by setting up... Um, the pyramid, right? Set up some guilds over here, bricks, and just the pyramid itself, and then, you know, work our way from there. Maybe that's a better idea. Uh, I'll be time-lapsing that. I'm starting to think I have built too much. Is that a thing? Sure, it's a thing. I need wood. Uh, I'm trying to decide if it's Dakla or Dunkul. I should probably open both. Oh, you know what? Dunkul, because I'm also gonna need sandstone. I should probably start accumulating those. Sandstone available for import to maintain. It's like 240, if I remember correctly. And then wood, we don't necessarily need a ton. I'm going to import to maintain a large amount, but it's going to be largely unused. 800 feels like a lot. The thing is, I'm going to have one uh, storage yard that's going to be quarter wood and three quarters sandstone. It can be here, sure. Um, 
and that's going to be the wood. It's a bit far from the dock, which is also used. <coughs> Sorry, which also uses wood. Uh, but this is going to be close to the carpenters, and I don't mind the ship right being somewhat inefficient because I'm not using the ship right much. Okay, so all of this. Oh wait, 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 wait! Before I forget. Because I'm totally forgetting, because I'm me, obviously, you know me. Services. Let's not have our limestone storage yard burn down. That would be bad. Okay, all of this evolved, I think? Yes. A bunch of people are going to move in, which is good, because I need like 250 people. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set up the housing district over here. That's going to provide workers to beer and papyrus over here for the docks and the way across to Fish Island. And then on this side, we're going to build the mausoleum eventually. Like this. It's 240. Stone. I was correct in that assumption. Alright, uh, other time lapse. Let's just go. Alright, that's cool. Maybe I should add more farms. I'm gonna wait for people to move in though, because uh, I've added a lot of jobs. I need a lot more people to be moving in. How many people are we expecting? 975, but these are gonna upgrade and provide even more housing. Speaking of, I kind of need to uh, beautify this place a little bit. Attack in 8 months? Wait, hold on. Shit. I can't send everything. Well, I'm going to help Iken, and I'm gonna test... That's gonna be a test to see how effective defending the city is, right? Because, um... Oh, speaking of... Question. Do the forts provide, uh, protection? I would expect them to, but I don't actually know. Okay, they do provide protection. More on the left than on the right. Maybe because there's people for soldiers in this and this is an empty fort? That's possible. Anyway, uh, there is widespread destruction usually when you get when you lose a fight. Maybe with all this protection I can ignore it. I guess we'll figure it out. Because I don't think I can win the fight against Iken. And locally, because I haven't invested enough. Maybe one thing I could do to win the fights... Oh god, I need another sandstone. I don't mind not getting any more limestone for the moment, but I need another sandstone thingy. Sorry, I got distracted. We're gonna test to see how effective the protection is when you lose a fight. But, like, completely lose a fight. I'm not sure it's... I think it's gonna get super ugly, but we'll see. I have 20,000, so I can just rebuild everything, in theory. It shouldn't be that big of an issue. Okay, the number of workers keeps going up. Alright, okay, people are moving in. It's fine. People are still moving in. We'll get there. I can build these already. Nile of Meter. There's no... There's no... There's no Nile here. What? Six months. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to send all my troops to Icon last minute to get as many troops to send to them as possible. Which might not be enough, because I started military a tiny bit late. I started everything late, because I built too much. That's the that's the silliest part to me, is I started the... I made too many gold mines and not enough of everything else, especially food. And so everything else got delayed because I didn't have enough food to get started. That's a lesson I need to really learn, because I start building like, oh yeah, I can build all of these gold mines. I start thinking about how do I optimize how many gold mines I have. Because that feels important to me. And then I forget that just because you figure out how many you can put doesn't mean you need to put them all in one go. And that was just too much. Gold mines cost a lot. Not as much as gem mines for some reason. But, you know. Anyway, I... Uh, yeah, this is going already. Cool. I will... Oh my god, I've already filled out all of the sandstone. Okay, hold on. That's my sign to send all my troops. All of them. Good luck, boys. Do I have Seth? Do I have Seth in my deities? I should have... Okay, no, I don't have Seth, so... There's nothing I could have done to help them. <sighs> Hopefully this works out. I have excess pottery. Can I sell that? I think I saw a trade route that, had, that bought pottery. Exporting went over, like... I don't even have to sell a bunch. I already make too much money, but might as well make more money. Feels natural to make even more. But... Okay, the Egyptian city was saved thanks to all of my troops. However, my city, the heroes return. I love it. Are you here to defend me? They're here to defend me! What the fuck? These truly are... Heroes! They're everywhere, all at once! My guys, I love you! Okay, that worked out better than I thought. Fine, okay, that's not working out. What's going on here? Shit. Um, I apparently forgot to put the services here because uh, it's me! Hello! Still me, okay. Wait, there are... I only forgot the fire, because there's already uh, an architect right here. Well, we won the battle, therefore my military infrastructure just fell apart. <laughs> Burnt to the ground. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. I don't want to put the recruiter back until I can get the academy. That way there will be no soldier uneducated. You know how it is. Alright. Academy goes here. Recruiter goes here. Everything else is fine. I deleted the other schools, as I recall. Yeah? Yeah. Do this and this. I deleted them so that they wouldn't burn. If they started burning, it would have taken even longer to get everything back together. Okay, bricks are just... Okay, pyramids progressing, that's fine. Sandstone, I need more sandstone... Depo deposits? Deposits is not the correct word, but don't worry about it. How many do I have? Um, close to 100, I think. These two are 64. This is 20... Uh, four. So, 88. I'm not even gonna be close, but that's fine. I can add the rest of the sandstone, maybe, like, on this thing here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Fixed it. Everything's fine. We've got all of the linen. Does anybody want to, like, buy linen? Who wants to buy linen? Is it you? No, who buys linen? You buy linen. You sell me straw and wood. I mean, sure, why not? I don't see a problem. It's landed. It's going to dilute a little all of my linen trade routes, but that's fine, I think. 
because lin it provides a lot of what my other land trade routes provide anyway so you know export went over i don't have to keep a lot of this let me keep like 1200 linen is not consumed very fast by any city you know since we are full on linen we can also get mortuaries pretty easily in all our districts I'll figure out where to put it eventually. Okay, you can be here, and one of you, like, over here, maybe. Okay. I don't know if they're close enough, especially the one on the left side of whatever this is. I don't know if it's close enough to the linen that it's actually going to get the linen, but maybe. We'll see. It's a bit of a... Oh my god, sandstone comes in so fast! Okay. How much sandstone do I have? Math. Really? Hold on. Why am I doing math? 128 plus 24. It's 152 that I have right now. Uh, plus 90... I need 88 more, so three more sandstone thingamajigs. We got this. Alright. 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 I think I'm gonna set up um, some beer and papyrus production over here. I'll time lapse that. I'll be right back. Alright, this is kind of an industrial district. I set up one granary of fish and some fish stew. Because why not? I hope they can walk all the way here. I'm pretty sure they can. Look at how far the gold mines are walking for their workers. Surely this fisherman's gonna find some work too. Uh, we're obviously gonna need more than just one granary once we colonize Fish Island. That'll come later. That's not the priority right now. I'm not too worried about it. I wonder how much more... This is the first mausoleum we do, so I don't know how much more we're gonna need. I also don't know... 5,000, yeah. How are the gods feeling? Benevolent? Sure. Let's fill up... Okay, more, more time-lapsing. Let's fill up some more um, shrines as well. There we go. There we go. Bunch more stuff done. 
You know what we're gonna need to once we have more people moving in because beer is gonna start happening so the whole city is going to evolve a bit. Uh, we're gonna need more farms and probably more fish too eventually. <laughs> Working on that too eventually. Not yet. I'll cut until... oh actually you know what? We have a ton of money. Let's put down the forts, the rest of the forts that we're gonna want. That's the archer. And then... right here. There you go. All the forts are done. Let's... Let, I'll cut until the next time I want to set something up. Alright, unemployment has hit 10%. My money has hit a very nice number as well. Uh, we should probably do something. Alright, we have a ton of scrolls, so I'm thinking we get some education in this town that that might be nice also i realized while i was spamming that not spamming but events in your head that this is in the wrong spot i'm intending that particular corner to be the senate house eventually uh, i'm not gonna build build it yet i'm still gonna wait for beer to build up a bit more convincingly but you know um there we go this can be here and then schools we were saying in fact, it could also be library, as far as I'm concerned. Um, we'll figure the library out later for this part. Library, not library, school. School, and then maybe a few libraries. Where is there a good place for a library? This is a place for a library, I don't know about a good place. I'm gonna build a couple libraries, just a couple. Sure, let's have a library here. That might be a problem, actually, because... Alright, there's going to be a road getting workers here, but then... Okay, maybe it gets workers here, but this is inconvenient. Well, I spent the 500. Wait, oh, I cannot do it. I'm going to invert places between these two. I think this is going to work better. Yeah so it comes in it's easier to come in to get workers here all right we let this go for now a new trade route to icon what do they want they sell beer they want weapons this is very rare they're gonna buy my weapons though that's worth selling to them maybe I don't need the money. I could make a ton of money selling them weapons, because weapons are worth a ton. And I'm making a bunch. <laughs> I have enough. But, uh, and I could scale up my production even more. That's another thing. But I'm not going to, because I don't, like, I kind of just don't feel the need for it. I'm rich. I don't, that's not a problem I'm trying to solve right now, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah, I just added the education. So the houses are going to evolve even more. Second type of food. Yeah, that's going to take a while. That's going to need Fish Island. Which, I mean, we can set it up right now. Sure. Let's just do that. Let me time-lapse a little bit of the improvisation. I have no idea how I want to do it, but let's just do it.
All right, it's a little basic, it's a little bit all over the place, but, and not using the space super effectively, but I don't care. It's not really what it's meant to do. It's a, it's a bit of a silly space, but it's gonna allow us to fish a bunch. It's also gonna give us all of our navy. It's gonna be great. I also added some more granaries. I put them there. I could put them here, but it's so far away from all of the districts. I figure we're gonna have one here, close to all of these. They're gonna fill this one first, and then once this one's filled, they're gonna fill stuff that's closer. No, uh, it looks like we have all our sandstone, doesn't it? Oh man. It sure does. Uh, if I really do want to put my Senate house where I want it, I need to put this, like, here. 128. Well, that's good to know. I guess I'll change the number in here. Maintain 128. I'm also going to delete the sandstone... Uh, yeah. And this one will accept sandstone. Because I'm pretty sure I need to carry the sandstone to here now. Kind of like with the sun temple or whatever. So, you know, might as well buy them closer. Distant bat- wait, what was that? Karma. Water route. Well, I just built my transports. They don't have- the transports don't exist yet. Hopefully the shipwright is going to, you know, catch up. Might have been a mistake to build all of this all at once. Alright. One more of these. <sighs> I'm gonna put a couple of here. The idea is to have more chickpea storage yard, because I... storage yard. Storage area, because I feel like I have got three full. Let's fill more of those. And then... People are gonna see that we've accumulated enough food for to hold out. Ideally, we hold out for like a year or something, I think. But anyway, uh, do we have... Let's see how much unemployment this cuts once people move in here. Um, if it... If we are still in unemployment, I think I'm gonna work on adding more chickpea farms. Well, people haven't moved in yet. Where are the people? They're coming. I see them. That's the wave. They're coming. They're coming to Fish Island. I made it kind of nice to live there. Come on now. There you go. Oh, I need culture. I have no culture over here. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um... All right, we can use a little bit of a trick on this one. See, we put all of the schools somewhere around here. See, this is fine. And then the walkers are gonna spawn and we put... Um, one, two, three, four. All right. And we put the thing here. See, they're gonna spawn their walkers and they're gonna send it to this venue specifically and they're gonna pass in front of all of the houses going there. So this is actually going to provide access the whole time. At least it should. Which is gonna be kind of cool. Now the water, I'm noticing, is not doing its job very well. We're gonna, just going to be super inefficient on this island, because we can be. Ah, see, we need more workers. Figured as much. Yeah, we'll get there. Water. This water apparently is not, barely makes it here. Oh, now it made it. Yeah, we're fine. Houses are evolving, they're getting supplies, it's gonna take a while. Especially because it's super far away from all the supplies. Desirability, I can fix that real easy. Wham. Let's fix desire, let's plazify all of the housing districts, how about that? 
We've got so much money, we might as well make it fun for everybody, you know? Not forgetting this poor little district in the middle of nowhere. There we go. Yeah, these are already max on level, huh? Okay, beer has accumulated. Let's get a couple Senet houses going. I was thinking one here and one here to start it off. I don't know if that one on the left is too far from the beer storage yard. We might need to get it closer. Fish is gonna take a while to accumulate, but eventually it will accumulate. I believe. I believe. Oh, by the way, we live on Fish Island now. It's our house. <laughs> I decided that pretty randomly. 108 additional workers required. My, my. Surely people are gonna move in. Do I have some military transports yet? I have one military transport. That's a warship. I assume we still have some time. Oh, five months, it's getting close. Hold on. Uh, Navy status. We only have one transport. I'm gonna wait a little bit to see if we get another transport going, but... We might have to... Okay, that's a warship. I'm going to just send the troops before I forget. We're gonna send the best. And... Uh, the second best, I guess? Sure. Alright. That will meet our prediction. Yeah, I just... Wait, oh, is that another? Wait. There's another distant battle coming up. Goddamn. Is it? It's a land route this time, so we're gonna be able to send everybody, more or less. Kingdom standing climb. Right. You're welcome, Manefer, for taking all my hard earned beer. Oh, I'm back to full. Okay, you know. No big deal. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I see I've also accumulated a bunch of scrolls. We can probably get some libraries going. A couple places, like next to the school over here. Victory? Wonderful. That was easy. I only needed two soldiers. So soldier companies sent over there. 119, good lord. Maybe I need to jam more houses over here. What's wrong with them, by the way? Hardly any entertainment. Is my trick not working? Apparently, my trick is not working the way I wanted it to. Well, damn. Alright. We're gonna add it, like... I don't know, here. I hate it, but... Hopefully it works out. Still building the ships. Fish is starting to very slowly accumulate there. But then, you know, all the bazaars are coming over to buy it from here. Eventually, it's going to accumulate here, and that's going to make it a whole lot easier for the bazaars to get to it. Still missing 100 workers. Hmm, the city feels a tiny bit disjointed. We got stuff on the right side. We got stuff up here. We got stuff on Fish Island. Not a bunch of stuff, but you know, we got a little bit of it. Uh, we got stuff down here for the clay and the military. And then we got stuff on the left side, because we need to have stuff on the left side. For the ferry. Also for military, while we're at it. Mm. 
I'm trying to think if I want to add a posh district, where would I put it? It would have to be here, but I want to use that space for food. How many more people can I get in this city right now? Current housing can hold 600 more. I can add even more people by just... New trade route for Kerma because we saved them. Hold on. Trying to solve my uh, target housing population. Uh, dilemma. Okay, what was that about a uh, battle? All right, let's send like four people for troops. It's probably gonna be good enough. The four best ones. Okay. Added a bunch of uh, of houses. Probably gets us very close to our target. Oh, I can add a bunch here too. What did I want to add here? Probably a temple. There's only one temple. Now there's two. There's space here for a temple, but like it's gonna be outside of the... You know what, whatever. There's gonna be a temple here. It's not gonna do much other than exist. Look pretty. But might as well. How are the gods feeling? Probably benevolent, right? Yeah. I'm treating the gods pretty well, all things considered. Ooh. Sure, sure, sure. Linen? We'll get there. All of the... Wait, we're, we're probably very close to finishing. Okay, we need a culture district somewhere. We need our population target. But that's probably going to... Yeah, in theory, we have enough right now. Housing to get our target eventually over time. So I think all we're gonna do... Icon has been saved, that's wonderful. Our heroes return. I think all we're gonna do is get a entertainment district somewhere and we're basically done, right? What else do we need? Oh, dentists. I haven't put dentists. Exports earn more than imports costs. Well, okay, hold on. Stop importing this garbage. Because we don't need it anymore. So, don't trade that. Don't trade that. We're going to export beer and papyrus. Went over a decent amount, but still. The fact that we're going to be exporting them will mean that um, we'll make a lot of money. A lot more money exporting than importing, so the prosperity is going to go back up. Wait, how much linen am I keeping? Okay, keep, get it at 16, because I need 16 for the this. Yeah. Okay, what else are we solving? Oh yeah, the entertainment district. I'm tempted to just extend the wall a bit and then make it here. Let's do that. Let's time-lapse that even.
how does that look? This should be perfect even for a little over 8,000. This, we'll see if that remains enough. Actually, it's not gonna be, right? Maybe it's, I don't know how to read this one. Y'all are probably gonna stay happy forever. Everything's fine here. Oh, Linen, there you go. Um, oh, culture is fine already. We need kingdom as well, hold on. Send a gift, lavish. Please. Is it there? Okay, kingdom, everything's there. We're just waiting for more people to move in, which might reduce the culture rating once people actually arrive. We'll figure it out. Linen? It's having trouble getting linen? Oh my. I mean, I just put it in the pyramid, so it'll, it'll get there. I have no fear. I think. Lots of houses are missing linen. Even the houses that are the closest, that's the weird part <laughs> to me. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just wait because uh, I can already get enough people, I think. And housing can evolve even further once linen gets distributed everywhere. So we're just going to wait and probably once we hit the population, we're going to get it. Because in terms of culture, I think we're fine for a little over 8,000. We should win as soon as we hit 8,000. Uh oh. That's annoying. You can see I added some walls here. I was about to add some towers to eat up some unemployment. Eat up some, um, some unemployment and also just add to defenses while we're doing it. We need 1,600 linen. Well, at least that means we've been accumulating linen. Did I...? Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I now understand what my mistake was. This is gonna boom the... the population, though. There's gonna be way more people now that they are buying linen. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, well. <laughs> uh, it's all been bought. Yeah, people are gonna move in before I have to deal with the consequences of not answering to this, right? I'm gonna send another gift just, you know, to make sure that uh, they still love me. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. I'll go back to cutting. Oh, 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 we're getting there? Come on, 75 more people. I'm sure, okay, see, they're coming. I, I see them, they're coming. I don't know where they're going, but they're coming. Look at that, it's almost there. Please end before I have to deal with anything. There you go. All hail the wise and resourceful Phalo. The new Red Sea trade port is booming and your support helped establish an equally strong trading post in Nubia. Yeah, right, because I also helped Iken get set up. I think Iken was the alternative to Sawu, so I wonder if we're going to get bailed out by a certain Sawu when we're going to be uh, <laughs> playing through Iken. Probably not, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, that was... I don't know. The city feels a bit disjointed because I wanted stuff over here. I wanted stuff over here because of the metal, and then I put the clay here, because why not? And then I needed just some houses over here because of the ferry. I needed stuff here for the tr water trading, and then I wanted a lot of coastline, so I wanted some stuff here. I didn't build a lot here, but you know. It was... yeah, it feels like a bit of a disjointed house uh, city. I feel like maybe... If we wanted to expand, probably we move the granaries somewhere else. And we do the posh district in the middle here. If we really wanted to. But uh, it would also bring everything together, right? Because there would be, instead of this empty space here, there would be a big city. 
a, a big posh district here, right next to this district, this district. It kind of connects everything, right? As right now, it's just there's some food in the middle with a big empty space. I don't know, it would feel a little more connected. But I didn't have to do that, and I didn't do it, because it would have been a lot of effort for just, like, not that much gain, all things considered. Anyway, that's Sawu over in the Red Sea. And that's also the military rework, which... I guess the fact that this was essentially a peninsula made things way easier. I imagine it's a little harder to deal with in other missions. Like I can maybe, I don't know, we'll see very soon, next time, and uh, yeah, until then, see y'all.